Hello everybody. My name is Brittany and this is my channel and it's all about cross stitch and what I do every single month. Um, if you are new here, please like and subscribe down below. Otherwise, if you've been here and you're watching again, thank you for coming back. Um, this month was May or May and I participated in it and I stitched on three, four, five, six, seven, seven different projects. All Mirabilia. Um, it's been an interesting month and I FFO'd quite a few things and got some stuff done. Um, we'll go through my FFOs first and then the stuff I worked on this month, my whips, and then haul, and then I'll give you a life update of things that have been going on. Um, the first thing I FFO'd Oh, this frame is heavy. Is we'll see. I have all these lights and stuff on. It is so early. Hopefully, it doesn't do too bad. Well, it's not too bad. That's Laka Potty by Bella Filipina. And I probably should have set the camera back a little bit, but I did it. Peekaboo. Anyways, um. A lot of times when I'm framing big things like this, if I am custom ordering the frame, then I'll, well, actually I'm going to set this over here because that's heavy. I'll order it from the, uh, from a, um, I don't know, I use a bunch of different websites and I'll get it that way. But those are all thrifted frames. So um, really honestly, I'll take a measurement of the piece and then find out um, what size the inside of the frame needs to be. And then I'll just go, uh, I mean, it'd look kind of ridiculous because I'm sitting there with the tape measure in the middle of the thrift store just measuring out the frames because I don't care what's inside the frame. All I care about is the, the, si the inside size of the frame so that my my pieces will fit um this is the next one this is peacock by mirabilia this is the free pattern you can get and what is that but she's in there and i'm gonna hang her up somewhere i just got to um install the wire on the back and that one's good to hang up. This one I am going to have to pull out and redo because what the heck was going on? There was something going on with, um, I think I had Vincent or whatever and I was trying to do this and he was trying to help but I didn't want him to touch the pins because those were sharp and I didn't want him to poke himself. But he was trying to help and I ended up framing it crooked so I haven't put any, um, backing on it yet because I need to pull it out because as you can see this side has more space than this side so I need to reframe it but this is um, Bella Filipina Mermaids of the Season this is the style that they did and I finished it but I gotta take her back out and readjust her which that's it's not a hard process to do Don't want any of these things fall over. And the next one is Mirabilia, Queen of Freedom. She's all done. You can somewhat see the reflection of the rest of the room. <laughs> That's funny. But um, I just wanted a simple frame for her because I feel like she's a good statement piece. So I didn't need all the fluff and buff. And I'm not big on using mats. I don't, I don't know, I just, it's not that I feel like they take away from the piece or anything, but it's just, it's more money I have to spend, and if I can save the money and the piece looks fine without a mat, then I'm going to go without a mat. And then, the last and final one that I FFO'd was Mirabilia Cathedral Wood Goddess, so she's all done. And she just fit in this frame too. But... Look how pretty that is. I can't wait to get some of these like all hung up on my walls. And of course all the lights. I didn't 
my husband is working a new job. So he is, he works uh, essentially like second shift. He works in the evening and into the early hours of the next day's morning. So he's upstairs currently sleeping. So, and my other glasses that are non-reflective, of course, are upstairs in that room and I'm already out of that room for the day. So I'm not gonna go upstairs and just go and get those glasses just so that way, you know, we're not shining like a crazy person here. But I th it is what it is. So it's just gonna be that way. All right, let's move on to my whips. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, this one I worked on. How many new starts do I have? I didn't even say that. Yep, I have new starts. And there's one, two, three, four, five new starts. Because why not? All right, so this one is Stone Roses. It is not a new start. I started this July 26th of 2023. And of course it's a Mirabilia. And um, hand dyed by me. 28 count, everything else is called for. And this, oh, here's what it'll look like when it's finished. And here's where you saw it last time. And this is where she is now. So I got pretty far on her. I got the whole way up, back stitch, and then started going, I think I got the whole way down here on this side too. I completed uh, all of that side. Got all the back stitching done on her. Um, I'm pretty sure I, there's no beads up on this part. So there's, I didn't have to do any beading. Um, look at her, isn't she pretty? I love her on this fabric. It just. I don't know. I love just the splashes around of color. I think it just makes it look interesting. But, um, I had a lot of fun. I put in her 5,294 stitches on her. So, she got quite a few done. It wasn't as busy of a month this month, so I was able to get some things done. Well, I should say the beginning of the month wasn't that busy. The last, I'm recording this on June 1st. So like the last, all right, my kids are out of school now. The last um, two weeks, hold on, let me have look. Sorry, three weeks. So the first two weeks, yeah. Well, it wasn't really a full, week but okay like two and a half weeks the last two and a half weeks have been busy I had to look at this bugger we can see everything I've done and everything that's been happening this month okay um next one I'm trying to find this one it's also not a new start Oh, of course you're over here on the frame and I didn't get it up. I will be right back. For you guys, it'll be a second. For me, it's just moving crap out of my road. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm filming this pretty early in the morning because everybody's still asleep. So, my voice is still like, hey, we haven't been awake very long. Anyways, so I started this one March 1st of 2024. And it is... Um, garden prelude. Here is what she'll look like when she's finished. And here's the last time you saw her. And here she is now. Now I don't I don't want to unscroll this, but if I go like that, you can see pretty much all of her. But um, I think. I was filling in the rest of this column and started working over here. Um, 
She is stitched on 28 count, hand dyed by me. Of course, this is Garden Prelude by Mirabilia. Because I don't think I said that. Because I can't ever remember anything. And it's too early in the morning. But, um, originally in the pattern, these columns are not stitched. Um, I'm using 642, I believe it is. To fill them in. So that way, this actual fabric just looks like the sky and in all honesty this is a pain in the butt because this is a lot of stitches that you have to throw in here that you're you're doing extra so this one is going to take me a lot longer than other ones I've done and I've stitched 5,122 stitches on this one this month so that's that one Okay, let's get the other one that is on a frame steel because I'm still working on it and your thing is down here. Oh, can I get you over here? Yep. All right. The next one, which is a new start this month, is by Mirabilia. It is Winter White Santa, and here's what it'll look like when it's finished. I started this on May 31st, so yesterday, and I stitched 380 stitches on it because um, my nephew Vinny and my sister ended up coming down, and we went for walks, and... I, uh, all over the place and down to the park and everything else so we had a lot of fun yesterday but anyways this is where we got to it's kind of hard to, to see but we got all this done so this guy here has still got another couple days for me to work on him before I might put him up because I think I have a couple more Mirabilia whips. And I think I'm gonna stitch on a few more of these for the next month. Why not do another mirror month, right? Who knows? We will see. But um I think I told you everything about that. Oh well yeah, of course it's it's hand dyed by me. Um there's some blues, um let me see. A little bit of blue, a little bit of pink, um, grays, um, a lighter blue in here. Um, it actually shows up pretty true to color. I wonder why. Everybody else has a hard time showing it, their stuff in it. It's not very true to color. I just don't know if I have a different setting on my camera or if it's just the fact that I have so much natural light and then artificial light and it's bouncing off everywhere that it, it just works. But it's usually... Pretty close to true to color. This one's going back down here. Once I put this back in, because I need my little tag. <coughs> All right, next one. This is a project bag that one of my um, subscribers sent to me. I believe it was Vanessa, right? I think so. If it's not, I apologize, but my memory is poopy. So this is also a new start. And this is Mirabilia, Mermaids of the Deep Blue, stitched on 28 count. And of course the fabric is hand dyed by me. And I started her, well, them, on May 11th. And this is where I got to. Not like too too far, but like pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. And 1,453 stitches is all the more that I got on her. This must have been one of those weeks that were really, really busy. That happens sometimes in my life. 
and I didn't show you a picture of what it would look like. Oh well. By this point, you guys would have already seen it because I'll just splice it in. I'm not getting out of it very well. Move that. Put that down in there. But she does have real, they do have really beautiful colors. Like, look at those. Aren't they pretty? I'm just excited to get um, more of these finished. I love fancy ladies. Love them. Maybe I'll just do a fancy lady June because I have Bella Filipinas too that need to be worked on too. I'm trying to think of which ones I have over there. Cleopatra, Aquila, the Phoenix Queen. I can just turn this page and look. There's Maria McKilling, Gaia the Earth Goddess, Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile, Phoenix Queen, and Aquila of the Skies. And Aquila of the Skies is actually really close to being finished. I could probably finish that next month if I tried. All right. Next one. Let's see, which one is this? This is Stargazer by Marabilia, and I started this one on May 25th. And of course, it's on 28 count, and it's hand dyed by me, I believe. Yes, this is one of the one. This is one of the fabrics that I dyed in my How I Dye My Fabric videos. So you guys will have seen me dye this piece, but there she is. I've got the this somewhere right in here. I think right there is the entire halfway point of the chart. So I got the entire upper half of the chart done, but she's very dress heavy. So I will have lots of work to do. The upper half was mostly, really honestly, I mean a, a crap ton of beads. Like look how many beads are on that bugger. So many beads. But it looks so pretty and I think it looks perfect against this fabric. It's gonna look so good on there. Going to look so pretty. And I put in 5,197 stitches on her. And yet again, I forgot to say, here's what she's gonna look like when she's finished. But I've already spliced that together and you guys will have already seen it. So no big deal. <clears throat> I just like telling you guys first. Okay. And then we have this one. Which one are you? Okay. Excuse me for a minute, guys. I'm gonna sneeze. You guys won't see it, but I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. This next one is um, Mirabilia, Duchess of Rowan. And I am doing a conversion by Rennie Simpson. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I mispronounced the name, I'm so sorry. But it is just stitched on 28 count. It's regular white. Um, these I want hanging up in my living room, but it is a blue conversion of her. And I think I have a picture of what it should, no, 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 no. This is Duchess of Rowan. There is not a conversion for this one. It's the baker's wife that has the conversion. And I'm just using the colors from that conversion for the baker's wife with this one so that they would match. And I think I'm doing pretty good on it. I got pretty far. This one got 6,254 stitches in her. So far, I think she looks pretty good. I think she'll be perfect on this white fabric. It just makes it very, very simple and nothing um, too crazy. So there isn't a picture of this one to show you because I haven't finished doing all the things yet. I have like 
a list. That one can't be it. I feel like these are switched in the wrong project bags. Because there should be... Yep. This should be in here. And this is the conversion with this one. It goes in that one. Alright, that would have been a disaster. But anyways, that was Mirabilia Dutch Rowan. And this one is The Baker's Wife by Mirabilia. And the conversion is by Rennie Smith. Again, it's just stitched on 28 count white fabric. And this one, I can show you a picture of what it'll look like when it's done. And here she is now. Well, not now. Here's where I got to. I'm pretty sure this one's the... No. Oh my gosh. I have, I have the thing switched up. Hold on. Okay, the first one you saw was the baker's wife. This one is the Duchess of Rowan. You belong in here. You belong in here. You don't belong in that one. Switch these. Okay, so this is the baker's wife, and this one got 4,037 stitches on it. That's the baker's wife. No wonder I was looking at that and I was like, I don't remember the Duchess of Rowan having a cupcake in her hand, because she doesn't. That's the baker's wife. Genius. Anyways, okay, so this one is the Duchess of Rowan. This is the one that I don't have a picture of it that you guys can see because I'm converting it myself. And we got pretty far, not too bad. We're getting there. And she has like all of the beads and stuff. Let's see if we can get that to glitter. All the beads and her hair and everything. And her earrings. I don't have the giant treasures yet that, that go in her earrings. Um, I have to write out down all the numbers and things that I'm using because this one I don't care if people use use the conversion or not doesn't matter to me. But that one got six thousand two hundred and fifty four stitches, and that is all my product projects. So that brings <clears throat> our total of stitches for the month to twenty seven thousand seven hundred and thirty four. And for so far for this year, I've stitched 85,767 stitches, which sounds insane to me. All right, so as for haul, so I don't even know how like, I came across these. I don't know what the heck it was that I was looking for, but um, I was on Lovecraft, and I'll look through mirror barrier patterns all the damn time, just because different sites sometimes will run sales on them and I'll just snag them whenever they're on sale. So I got all of these on sale. I think they were a little over like, I think they were like six something a piece. So of course I bought them. Um, so this is Nora Corbett, Corbett, Mirabilia. My brain still isn't functioning yet. This is Mirabilia, the Bliss Fairy. I'm not big into fairies, but I might just take the wings off, stitch the back in, and you can somewhat see through the wings where the flower stem goes. So I might just do that. We will see. This is Mirabilia Sleeping Princess. And then Mirabilia sun goddess and finally Mirabilia Persephone 
And that is everything I bought this month. So if all you are is here for the stitching and you don't want to hear me blabber on about my life and what's been going on, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next month. For those of you who love sticking around and listening to me flap my gums, this is what's been going on this month. It's been a wild month. Um, my husband changed jobs and is working a completely and utterly different shift now. And that's been an experience getting everybody used to everything and we're still not used to it. It's still really weird, but we'll get there. Um, we took Grandma Joanne shopping and um, took her dog and our dogs to the groomers this month. Um, we have a couple different um, flower nurseries around. And so um, when Grandma Joanne's ready to get her flowers, we just take her around and get her flowers. It's always uh, a fun day. And she really enjoys it and uh, that much walking and stuff um, sometimes her she gets into a lot of pain and things like that so uh, we can you know she can see something and we can run to where and it is instead of her having to walk the whole way there to get it and things like that so that way we can help her out um, what else has happened this month um, my son Damon graduated this month he is officially a high school graduate now um, it's still really really weird to me because now I have an equal number of kids out of school and in school and I'm I'm so used to having such little kids all the time that I'm just like it, it's just a weird experience knowing that most of my kids are already graduated high school well half my kids are graduated high school now um, on May 16th um, well, we received a letter, I think that Monday, May 13th, I think we received a letter stating that um, Damon had won either an award or a scholarship and we needed to be there at um, award slash scholarship um, night. And of course they had to wear full um, formal wear and things like that, except for the kids that were playing sports and stuff because uh, we've had a lot of rain and stuff. so. Like a lot of like softball and football games and or not football, baseball games and things like that have been um, delayed and moved. And unfortunately, some of the seniors that night were like playing baseball or softball. And then like um, parents and stuff um, were able to like run out to the field and get them and bring them in. So that way they could accept their, their scholarship or their award and they can go back outside and... <laughs> continue playing their game so it was kind of a crazy night and I didn't know that Damon had even applied for any scholarships and he was like mom I didn't apply for anything so I'm not sure what I got I must have won some sort of award and they didn't hand out any awards that night they only handed out scholarships and we're talking like it was um, two and a half pages of scholarships and we're sitting there and we're sitting there and we're sitting there and it gets to the second to the last one and I'm thinking, man, did they screw up and send us a, a invite when we shouldn't have got one? Because it's it was literally invitation only because, um, you know, I needed to be there if you want a scholarship, essentially. And I'm thinking, did they screw up or something? Have I just sat here for two and a half hours for nothing? And they get to the second to the last one and Damon won the GEO scholarship for PE and it didn't surprise me none, but the GEO scholarships are um, your teachers um, have to nominate you for those awards. Um, it's not something you can apply for, it's specifically that your teacher feels that, um, and it's, it's not just in, uh, how do I put this? So we have quite a few um, different school districts around me. And so it would have been, well, I'm not gonna say their names, but let me count them real quick. Five different school district? I think it was five different school districts. I feel like I'm forgetting one, but I don't think so. So it's, 
five different school districts, teachers, there's different geo scholarships. Like there's one for PE, there's one for science, there's one for English, um, math, um, literature, and then of course physical education. Um, I think that was all of them. I'm trying to remember. But anyways, so each school district, um, the teachers get to nominate one kid and they write in and say why this particular student deserves it. And um, Damon has ADHD and social anxiety. So like lunchtime for him, other kids would love lunchtime because you're hanging out with your friends and it's, it's fun versus where for Damon, because of his ADHD plus his social anxiety, Sometimes it'll give him an anxiety attack because of all the loud noises and everything. And then a bunch of kids crammed into, um, I mean, our high school's cafeteria is, is pretty big. But it's still, he feels like the walls are closing in on him. <coughs> and then with his ADHD, he gets overstimulated because there's a billion and one different things going on. And um, so lunchtime isn't always his favorite. So... Um, he's had, um, he's always been able to, um, grab up a couple group of his friends and they go to, um, a, a specific, uh, I forget what the, the teachers, what teacher that one that they taught, but it's, it's been happening since he was in 10th grade. The teacher realized he was struggling and said, um, you know, Hey, why don't you and your friends just come to my classroom and eat? So that way, um, he's not so overwhelmed and Damon brought, I think like four of his friends with him. And so there's, you know, just the five kids in there eating and, um, they thought it was pretty cool anyways. But, um, so like lunchtime is extremely excruciating for him. And of course with ADHD, particularly he is off the charts for hyperactivity disorder. So he is, oh, I'm sorry, Cam Cam. He cannot... It's not that he can't sit still. I don't want to say it like that because that's not his issue. His issue is, is that, um, he explained it to me once. He's like, my legs tingle. And he explained that to me when he was probably four years old, or not four years old, and like fourth grade. He's like, it's not that I can't sit here. It's that I literally feel like, like a tingle throughout my entire body that like, I just, I need to move. Um, but he's went through a lot of, um, different therapies and stuff to help him, um, cope with that. And we found, um, uh, many major, um, coping mechanisms. So anybody's children are diagnosed with ADHD. It's not the end of the world. I know a bunch of lawyers who are ADHDs. I know doctors that have ADHD. I know it's, it's not, um, a soul crushing diagnosis. There are different ways that a lot of, um, people can learn because it's not a lack of focus. That's not it. Or the inability to learn. It's the fact that their brain is essentially thinking about a billion different things at once. And we discovered with Damon that if he has like a headphone in and he's listening to music in one ear, he is able to tune out all the other racing thoughts in his brain and just focus on the one thing that he needs to. You know, it's almost like he can close down those extra tabs and um, it helps him focus on one particular thing. So he had like a, um, he actually liked listening to um, all different kinds of music, but he had um, uh, an, ear, an AirPod and we got permission from the school and explained what was going on and his, you know, had to have his doctors write in and everything else that, you know, like it sounds crazy, but you'll notice he'll be able to pay attention better. And the, a lot of his teachers ended up emailing me and were like, wow, this man has made a huge difference. Like before, you know, we had to, you know, correct him a lot. Like, no, you can't do that. You got to sit down. And it was, um, a crazy experience. And, um, like Damon is extremely intelligent. And because it looks like he's not paying attention to anything, but he is like, just absorbs information left or right. So it just helped him be able to connect more with like his teachers and things to be able to follow through 
without having everything else in his brain distracting him. But anyways, um, so if your kid has ADHD, look into cognitive therapy, look into all the, there's all different kinds. You don't have to immediately medicate first. Damon was medicated for a while, but he didn't like the way that it made him feel. He said it made him feel like it, he wasn't himself. And I'm not sure why those lights were flickering. But anyways, um, we had taken him off the medication and um, he was in all different kinds of therapy, even with the medication and things like that. But the, I will say the medication didn't seem to, it helped some, but it wasn't significant. So there are, there are other things you can do. I feel like that light keeps flickering or is it just me? All right. Um, Abby had her spring dance. Um, if I can find a picture, I will put it in here. Oh, I'll put a picture of Damon accepting his, uh, scholarship. Um, Damon also went on his senior trip this month. He went to, they went to Washington, DC. Um, he's always wanted to be an aerospace engineer, but now that he's graduated high school, he's not hundred percent sure what he wants to do. But he went to the Aerospace Museum down in Washington, D.C. Um, they went to the... The Unknown Soldier's Tomb? Is that what it's called? And they got to see the changing of the guard of that. Um, I'm not sure what other things that he went and did either. But they 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 had, they had a good time. That's all that matters. Um, on the nineteenth, Damon had his regular school awards, and he got an academic letter again this year. Um, Abby on the twenty first, it was her um, choir concert. Um, I can put a little clip in here for you guys. Thank you. 
25th, um, the weather was finally going to be stabilized all weekend. So we ripped off the old porch on my, at my, the house we remodeled for my mother-in-law. We ripped off the old front porch from it because it was really bad. In fact, after we got everything off, my husband was walk, walking across the ra the yeah the rafters to go and get inside the the house and it just I mean it just the rest of it fell. We already had the entire roof supported and everything, so that was fine. Thankfully, the entire roof portion of it, so all the all that part was uh, none of it was rotted and it was in really good condition so we didn't have to do anything with that other than like we're wrapping it in metal and things like that to protect it from uh, the weather so that way you know it one won't need painted and two it'll just be there but um, because that porch was so rotted we were able to just I mean barely any effort just take it apart and we got that done um, all in one day and the entire floor we reset the framing and everything up and the rafters and everything for the floor and then sheeted the whole and then put the wood down for the whole entire floor of the porch all in one day and then Sunday the next day we went and we put the support posts in for the roof and um, did the railing and the stairs and we're done with the porch. <laughs> so we tore down and built a porch in two days. Um, Lydia had her end of the year ceremony. Oh, I'll be right back because I wanted to show you guys that. So the pictures I got of her um, at school when she was accepting her award at school. Unfortunately, I, I can't if I, I I can't crop out the name of her school. So I can't show you pictures of it, but I can show you that she won um, the medal that she won. And this is um, the Senator Langerholic Award. It's a senator in the state of Pennsylvania. And um, it gets a, awarded to one student in her class. And um, it's for academic excellence. Um, Academic excellence, um, ex uh, uh, exceptional generosity, and what the heck is the other one? There's one more. I don't remember. But academic excellence and um, exceptional generosity, and then there's one more thing that it gets awarded to this the student that displays that throughout the entire year. So Lydia won her, um, this is the second time she's actually won this medal. The first time she was in kindergarten, here she is in third grade winning it again. Um, but that is, oh, Abby won um, academic excellence in health. So she was the student in the health class this year that had the highest grade of all of her classmates. And then on May 30th, I got to watch my boy graduate. And it's a bittersweet moment because their childhood is officially over. It's time for adult life now. It's time to, you know, if you're going to college, you're going to college. If you're you're going into the military, you're going into the military. If you're going into the workforce, you're going into the workforce. If you're going to trade school, you're going to trade school. It's it's a bittersweet moment. You guys are going to hear a helicopter go over uh, overhead, so I apologize for that. But nothing I can do about it. Uh -huh. oh, at least we're not flying flying directly over my house. They must have flew over a couple houses that way. So it wasn't as loud as it could be. So you guys might not have even heard it. But um, I think I have a small clip of Damon. Um, sorry, lost my train of thought. I think I have a small clip of Damon um, accepting his uh, diploma that I can show you guys if it doesn't have the school 
name in it. And I'm trying to remember if it does or not. But if it doesn't, I can show you different pictures of him for graduation. I think that's what I'll do because if I remember right, the the banner in front of the table with all the diplomas on it, I'm pretty sure that has the school name on it. So I don't think I can show you that one. I don't want to, well, I just trying to protect where we live specifically. But um, I think that's all I have for you this month. Let me look. Yeah, that's it. That's that's pretty much all I've done. Those are the things I've done this month. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.